All right, guys, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to take out an X caliber carbon wrap barrel and 6XC. We're going to use the same loads that I use in my standard competition 6XC. Um, this is a heavier profile barrel. This is uh, probably a Sendero taper is what I would guess it is. Um, it's probably a little heavier than a Sendero, but right in that area. Um, it's not quite an MTU taper. Um, not that familiar with the uh, Excalibur carbon tapers yet. Getting there, okay? Um, this is a light chassis, a BA light chassis. We have a 419 bottom rail with an Atlas bipod. We are running a Remington 700 action that has been squared and true, okay? Also a Timney two-stage trigger. That's a type of triggers that I like to run at least the two-stage. We run several different two-stage triggers. I hope it lives up to expectation. Don't have very many rounds through it right now. We're gonna start with a cold, clean barrel and we're gonna see what kind of group it produces. All right, guys, we're gonna try the carbon fiber 6XC and see how it does. And uh, we got a downrange camera running here. Again, this is probably about shot number eight. Shot number eight is what we're on right now. And uh, I've already got it sided in, the barrel's cooled off. Um, we're gonna see how it does, if there's any fluctuation between the cold bore shot and the rest of the shots. Going for the left dot first. Okay, a little off to the right side there. Staying the center of the dot. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Um, I expect a little bit better. Um, these are my loads I run in my other 6XC. Uh, these are 108 burger boat tails. Those are their target bullets. Loaded with H4350. And I'm running a stick out of 2.75 overall length. Um, we'll see how the other group goes here. I'm gonna make a slight adjustment. I'm shooting to the right a little bit. I'm gonna go over two and I'm gonna aim at the right dot. See if this group looks any better. All right, guys, I wasn't satisfied with that first group. The second group was really good. So we've let the barrel cool down again. Um, we're gonna do uh, five more rounds. Got the camera rolling down range, and we'll see what happens this time. Stand by. Okay, that was just on the edge of the dot. That was good for a cold bore shot. Still in the edge of the dot. That may be me moving around a little bit.
You notice, guys, this rifle is not moving. Not moving much at all. It's a lightweight rifle. And it's really doing its job right now. Got a pretty good little group running down there. We'll see what happens here at this last shot. That one that came out of that group, out of that little hole, was me. I pulled a little bit to the right. Anyways, we'll get back in the shop here. Stand by. All right, guys, here is the uh, clean cold bore shot. We'll measure that group right there real quick. That's right at an inch. So we're gonna say that's an inch, 0.96. And this is shot group number three. We're gonna do group number two, which is really nice. This is after barrel heated up a little bit. That's a 0.26 right there. And I, I called that shot right there as a flyer, but we're still gonna count the group. I don't know if another bullet went through there or not. We'll see that on the video. Um, this is back to the cold bore and after it had some rounds fired through it So we're still under half an inch there, okay So for a brand new barrel um, Without a load specifically worked up for it. It's doing really good. Those are loads. I had um, For my 6xc that I shoot competition wise, okay, so we're gonna get back to the bench. All right guys What'd you think about that? <laughs> I actually think it shot pretty good. Now the uh, the cold clean barrel um, was a little bit off until it fouled in a little bit. That's pretty natural for a gun that's breaking in. Um, so I'm excited to see what what what's next. Uh, work up a hunting load for this thing. Those are target loads, and uh, see how she goes with some hunting loads. You've seen the weight there. You've seen the groups. Um, the gun is absolutely gorgeous. It turned out really, really good. Um, I'm excited. The weight is right. The accuracy is getting there to where, well, that, the last two groups were very impressive. So the accuracy right now is there for anything 300 yards and in. I mean, coyotes. This is, this is a predator build. So it's living up to expectation. And if you guys uh, want any more information, you can email me at pantherhollow at mail.com. I just know there's not a lot of info out here floating around on these carbon fiber wrap barrels from Excalibur. Um, so far, so good for here. Um, this is, of course, just a sampling one of one, right? Um, this is the first one we've put together and the first one we've tried. So we'll see how it goes. And if we build another, we will, uh, we'll see how it shoots too, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.